Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it is relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it is relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Have been doing M&A now for all the last couple of these videos. The next one to really highlight is what's going on with Fiterra. Fonterra has made a very clear call to the market that its consumer business is out for buying. The fact that it is going to divest its consumer, particularly its Oceana and Sri Lankan assets, makes things very interesting in what is normally a little bit of a dull space, but agribusiness has started to become quite exciting. The question therefore becomes, who gets it? And who is going to put up the amount of money required to buy it? Because you were talking about, for instance, for the Oceana division, this is a place that processes 1.4 billion litres of, of milk a year and puts out around about 700 million pieces of different materials every year in Oceana alone. So there's a business there. The catch, as Fonterra points out, it is expensive. Margins aren't that great. Competition has been tough. And overall, it's not a business they can grow all that well. That is why it's an interesting one, because it would suggest, therefore, that the only players that can get their hands on it are big names and established names. And what that also brings into it is things like if it's external, foreign review board, but also then it brings in the ACCC for competition issues. Because what we have seen, Saputo, the big Canadian agricultural business that took over Warnable Cheese and Butter, it also got its hands on Murray Goldman, has actually divested some of its milk products to Woolworths and Coles. And this is where the interesting debate comes. If Woolies and Coles got their hands on Fiterra's assets, that would make a very, very interesting problem, particularly if you're bigger. Because bigger then is actually selling to their competition while also competing with their competition across the board. How they deal with that will be quite interesting. But if Bega was to try and take over and go hard at Fonterra's assets, you'd probably see the ACCC going the question, where's the competition? Because realistically then they're only fighting Saputo and that would be about it, particularly in New South Wales, SA and Victoria. So that's why I wanted to highlight the Fonterra divestment. It's going to be fascinating. Somebody's gonna pork out some serious amount of cash but who ends up with it is going to also be part of the debate because clearly it's going to be positive or negative for particularly the big three, Woolworths, Coles and Bega, and which one of those can get their hands on most, all or at least some of those Fiterra assets. 